I shop a lot. And the bulk of the shopping I do right now is all online. Thanks to Honey, I'm able to spend less on some of my online goodies quickly and easily. Honey is a free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and automatically applies the best one available at checkout. It's free, easy to use on your computer, and has over 30,000 supported websites. For my niece's birthday, I was able to find this great set of superhero capes for her to enjoy. During my checkout, Honey popped up and saved me an additional $5. Excelsior. Honey has found its over 17 million members over $2 billion in savings, so you too could start saving on your purchases today. It's free and works with whatever browser you use. If you have a computer, Honey should be on it. You can get Honey for free today at joinhoney.com slash SS. Hey, I'm Marquia. Want to hear something scary? Yuki Ona. In the wilderness of Japan, something sinister stalks the unlucky travelers that stray too far from their paths. Very few survive their encounters with the deadly spellbounding snow witch of legend, Yuki Ona. Many years ago, in a village in Japan, there was a young man named Minokichi who owned an inn with his father, Masaku. On the way back from a trip one winter day, there was a freak blizzard. Father and son sought refuge in a small hut in the wilderness that hunters used. Finding little firewood, they prepared a modest fire to keep warm through the night. In the middle of the night, Minokichi suddenly awoke to snowflakes falling upon his face. The world was quiet and still. Hearing a sound to his left, he turned and saw the most beautiful woman he had ever seen kneeling next to his father. He watched as her eyes burned with an unnatural wintry fire. She reached out to touch his father and suddenly he shot awake, gasping and shivering. Minokichi witnessed his father's skin turn a pale blue and then white as the woman's icy embrace removed any trace of warmth from his body. With a final raspy breath, his father died. It all happened so quickly, and before he could react, the beautiful woman was beside him. Minokichi shivered as he felt her cold breath, just as cold as the snowflakes feathering across his skin. I am Yuki Ona, the woman whispered. I am the Snow Witch. I was going to take your warmth and life as I have your father's, but I will spare you that because you are so handsome. Never speak of this day, or you will meet a fate worse than you could ever imagine. Swear on all you hold dear, you will not break your vow. Looking over at his dead father, Masaku, Minokichi swore to keep her existence a secret. The Snow Witch then turned and disappeared, and with her, the winter storm stopped just as suddenly as it had started. Minokichi returned to his village and his life, his father was mourned as one of the few casualties of winter that year, and life moved on. The seasons changed many times, and finally, the man one day met a beautiful young lady named Oyuki. Her beauty rivaled the Snow Witch that he encountered so long ago in the woods, and he offered her work at his family's inn. Together, they ran the inn and were soon happily married. Eventually, they were joined by six children, and Oyuki's beauty never faded as the years went by. On a family trip, Minokichi and Oyuki were caught in a violent snowstorm with their children. Minokichi thought back to the night he lost his father. He had begun to doubt his encounter in the woods, chalking it up to being half awake and too cold. He never did tell anyone, but there was something about this night and his children's eagerness for a story by the fire. Secure within their cabin and too confident in his long years, Minokichi leaned in close and asked his children if they wanted to know about the Snow Witch and what really happened to their grandfather all those years ago. The children quivered in fear as he told the story, but he assured them that they were all very safe here in the cabin together. Asking for their mother, who was preparing supper, the family went into the kitchen to look for Oyuki, but she was nowhere to be found. 
Returning to the main room, the children began to shiver. The room was icy cold despite the raging fire. Minokichi scanned the room, looking for an open window or door, some source for the sudden cold. His heart sank, and a fear he had not felt in years rushed back into him as his eyes fell on the long-haired woman in the corner, facing away from them. The children cowered behind their father as he shouted, Who are you? Leave this house at once! I told you to not tell a soul, the figure whispered. You made a vow. Oyuki turned to face her family as magic shimmered around her and her earthly beauty gave way to the ethereal beauty of Yuki Ona, the Snow Witch. Speaking to her children, she explained, Your grandfather gave his warmth and life to quell a blizzard just like this one. Without his sacrifice, many would have died. She then turned her attention back to Minokichi and sadly said, You broke your vow. Do you remember what you swore on? The children's voices had fallen quiet. Minokichi turned to them and cried out as he realized that each of his children had turned into snow versions of themselves. Frozen and perfectly shaped in their huddled positions behind him. Minokichi turned back to Yukiona, pleading that they be restored to take his warmth instead. Yukiona shook her head. I cannot. Once you broke your vow, you also broke the spell. They are what I am. At those words, the shutters and doors blew open, pouring the wind and storm into the cabin. After he ran and quickly closed them all, Minokichi discovered the cabin to be empty. His children and his wife, the Snow Witch, nowhere to be found. All he held dear was now gone. The village had much to whisper about Minokichi after that. They say there are many tales about his adventures as he sold his family's inn and began searching for his family among the snowy wilderness. However, he never returned to the village ever again. Hey, my dark darlings. We're a small crew here at Something Scary, so we have to make sure that the work that goes into our episodes gets done in order and on schedule. So that's why I want to tell you about our sponsor, Monday.com. Monday.com is an online teamwork platform that keeps your team connected from anywhere. I really enjoy the visual ease of using Monday.com. It helps banish the demons of confusing email chains or who's doing what and by when. It helps make sure everyone is aligned and on the same page. One of the things that I enjoy the most about Monday.com is that it's customizable. So it feels like it could fit any type of collaboration or industry. Build confidence within your team and reach every goal with ease. Visit Monday.com to start your free two-week trial. We keep watching horror movies for a number of reasons. Supernatural frights, jump scares, and so on. But most of us don't enjoy it when characters speak the truth of their situation, but aren't believed or listened to. Movies are movies, but we also don't need that frustration in real life as well. The sponsor BetterHelp is an option for when you want a licensed professional counselor, someone else to talk to besides family and friends. What I like about BetterHelp is being able to have a one-on-one -on -one session with my own counselor every week. It's safe and online, done from the comfort and security of my own home. My counselor responds in a timely manner to any messages I send her. Also, the weekly live session is a good way to get another perspective on my week. The service is available worldwide. Over 1 million people have signed up and you can start communicating in under 24 hours. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they are recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. I want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting betterhelp.com scary. Join over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health. Want more something scary? You can hear more stories over on the Something Scary podcast, available for free on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to your favorite shows. The links are in the description below. Thank you to all of our patrons. While we do run a limited amount of ads, the show would not be possible without your support. 
If you'd like to submit a story, send me an email at somethingscary@snarled.com. Like and share this video if it gave you the chills. And don't forget to subscribe to Snarled and turn on the bell for notifications. And if you dare, follow me on social media. Until next time, my dark darlings. Sweet dreams.